At age 75, Elvis of the North and Cree musician Ernest Monias is still performing on stage for all of his fans. And no, he's not slowing down anytime soon. No, still going stronger. And it, uh, it's just a number two, eh? But I enjoy what I'm doing, so I don't think I'll be able to get off the stage until somebody pulls me off the stage. If I wanted to hear what you want me to. Whether it's taking a selfie backstage or just getting up to dance to their favorite song, many in the crowd had their own heartfelt reasons for being here. It's a Winnipeg Free Press article from 23 years ago, December 2001. He signed it to my mother at the time and he just re-signed it tonight. The King is a legend and I think he's one of the, the few artists that can draw a, a pretty big crowd. Tonight we're competing against Ludacris and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers game, so I think I, we probably could have had a lot more people if it wasn't for those two big events, but uh, like I said, people love Ernest Monias and uh, it's been on an incredible show. When Amy Gabosh's son Solomon Beardy was diagnosed with kidney failure in 2019, she says it was Monias' music that brought hope to their five dark years of recovery. So every time we hear Ernest, we're there. I don't even know if he knows us. Well, he's going to know us, so that's why we're here. Now, with Beardy's second chance at life, they wanted to celebrate with who they call their King of the North. I just turned 28. Yeah, I just had a birthday. I had a birthday yesterday. I turned 28. My family came over. For Marlene Bigotty from Puckatawagan, she and her mom didn't want to miss their very much loved family member. My mother wanted to come and see her um, grandson, Ernest Monias, and um, on his birthday, my mother was actually on her deathbed and she couldn't come and she survived. She's dealing with cancer right now and um, she was able to come to this one. As for Ernest, he's giving the fans what they want with a new upcoming album and even a new book on the way. Well, I've been writing songs and, um, and I'm in the process of uh, writing my autobiography and concentrating on writing uh, original songs. Which I've got an original album coming out sometimes uh, either October or November. Chris Nachkate, APTN National News, Winnipeg.